Hey guys, my name is Ritha Sachdev. Today here in this tutorial, I am gonna show you some more options related to buttons. I am gonna show you how you can create drop down buttons in Bootstrap. Before going into action, I want to preview the things which we are going to learn in this tutorial. See here I have several buttons. The first button is the regular button which is having drop down arrow on it. When I will click on it, I have a drop down list. And another button, second, third, fourth button are the buttons which are in various sizes. This is the large button, this is the small button and this is extra small button. And the buttons which are in green color. You can see I have a split on it. If you look at it closely, the arrow is on the another button. Instead here we have everything is on the same button. When I will click on this button, again I have a drop down list. And I have a separated link also which is separated from the rest of this first three links. I have a thin horizontal line here in grey color which is separated from the others. And the last button you can see instead of drop down arrow I have a drop up arrow. When I will click on it the links are on the upward direction. So they are just in the reverse order. So let's get started. Here I have already opened up Adobe Dreamware CC and the doc type I'm using is HTML file. You can use any code editor software. I have linked up all the necessary files related to Bootstrap as CDN. Here is latest compiled and minified CSS file. Uh, on the line number 14 we have latest and compiled minified JavaScript and which you can easily get from the official website getbootstrap.com and on the line number 12 I have latest and compiled jQuery file which you can easily get from jQuery.com Now in the body section of our document let's have a div with a class of container a pre-inbuilt class in bootstrap. Let's close this div container. Now just to have a breathing space let me have one internal style rule. So style margin 200 pixels. Now let's first create a single button with a drop down. So now let's have a diff with the class of btn dash group. Let's close this div. Now inside class btn dash group we are gonna have our single button. So let's have a button type is equal to button. Let's give it a class btn btn dash danger. As danger gonna give me red color button, you have full control on the colors of button with some classes. It's danger, primary, info, success. So the danger gonna give me red color. If you want to know more about all these classes, you can watch a video. I do have it on my channel. Here is my channel. Here is video. Bootstrap. 3.2.0 creating Jumbotron layout and buttons. So in this video of mine you will know about all the classes related to changing the color of buttons. Let's add one more class to it. Drop down dash toggle. Now let's have a data attribute 
data dash toggle is equal to drop down let's close this button tag now the text on the button I want to have is services and after the services I want to have a drop down arrow symbol so to have that symbol of drop down arrow I'm having a space as I want to have space on the button also between that arrow and the text services so ju just with space I am creating a space on the button now with the span tag span class caret let's close this span tag now let's save up and Let's preview what we have done so far. See here now we have a red color button services on it and with a drop down arrow also. Now when I will click on this button I want to have a drop down list. So let us go to our source code and let's generate that drop down list. So after this closing of button tag let's have an unordered list with the help of ul tag ul and close that ul let's give it a class drop down dash menu let's have our list items now I want to give a link to that list items so let's have an anchor tag definitely we will be having links on it so for now I'm having hash later on you can give your links let's close this tag let's close this anchor tag and let's close this ally tag now the text on the links I want to have is link item 1 let's copy this line and paste it several times let's change the items now one, two, three. Now let's save up and let's refresh. Now when I will click on this button, I have an unordered list. Link item one, link item two, link item three. This is our single drop down button. Now let's play with the various sizes of this button. So if I want to make it large one or I want to make it extra small so let us go to our source code let's have comment now various sizes of button now let me copy the whole junk of code from this div class btn group to this closing div and just we will make the certain changes and let's paste it here just we have to add the one or more classes to change the various sizes here on the class let me add a class btn dash lg let's save it up 
and let's refresh our web page. See now I have a large button. This LG stands for the large button. Let's have small button now. Just to have a small button instead of LG we will have SM stands for small. Let's refresh our web page now. See now that large button has been converted in the small one. It is also smaller than the default button, the single button which we have created. Now let's make it extra small. Let's save it up and let's refresh. See now we have an extra small button. Now let's have a split button. That is we will be having a split between this arrow and services. There will be two buttons. One for the arrow, one for the services. So let us go to our source code. Let me write some comments. But that will be the button we are going to create. Split button. Now again let me have a div with a class of btn dash group. Let's close this div. Now let's have button type is equal to button. Now class on the button I want to have is btn btn dash success. This success gonna give us green color button. Let's close this button and the text on the button I want to have is services again. Now let's have one more button. See here we were creating the uh, arrow button on the same button. Here we have span class on the single button. Now we will be having another button for that span class. Here just we have created button with the class success to make it in a green color and close this button tag. Now Again we will be having our button tag. So button type is equal to button. Class is equal to btn btn dash success. Now here on the second button we will give our drop down toggle class. Drop down dash toggle. Let's have our data attribute also now. Data dash toggle is equal to drop down. Now let's close this button tag. Now in the second button itself we will be having our span class caret. Span class caret. Let's close this span tag. Let's also have a span tag with the class of sr-only. You will not find any visual difference with this class sr-only but it's a very important class and you must have it.
let me have text here toggle drop down now let's generate our unordered list so let me very quickly copy and paste up the unordered list from here to here let's save up this much and let's preview the moment i refresh see i have a green color button and i have a split on it and when i will click on this arrow i have a link items now let's have a separated link in this button just to have a separated link let me go to source code now to have a separated link let me have a li tag with a class of divider this divider class will separate the link from the rest of the links so let me have a li tag anchor tag inside hash for now at the text separated link let's close this anchor tag select close this li tag let's save it up now let's refresh now when i will click on this button services i have a separated link it is separated from the rest of the three links and i have a horizontal thin gray line here right now what if instead of having drop down button i want to have a drop up button and have arrow for the upward direction so let us go to our source code and so let me have comment here for the next button it's drop up button now to have the drop up button let me copy again the whole junk of code and paste it here div class button group and also add a class drop up that's all we have to do let's save it up and let's refresh see now i have a button the arrow is on the upward direction and when i will click on it i have link on the upward direction this is just reverse link now you can also play with the position of the links that is you can also make it display it in the right direction just we will add a class drop down dash menu right let's save it up and let's refresh now now when i will click on it the list is in the right direction so this is how you can play along with the drop down menu buttons in bootstrap So this is done friends and if you like this video of mine do thumbs it up do not forget to subscribe me and if you want to learn these subjects directly from me do contact me have a good day bye bye